You're watching Talking About Orcs. Tonight we're going to revitalize the Speed Freaks. I got a hold of a Codex Armageddon. I was reading through the Speed Freak stuff, and I think it'd be a lot of fun for some fun games. Uh, but we're going to have to go through and, of course, modify the rules for the new Codex and new 5th edition. So let's just go over the Orc Cult of Speed. And uh, what can, how can we play Cult of Speed? Uh, well, there's some special rules here uh, that some will apply and some won't apply. Uh, the first one is mount up. All infantry in a Speed Freak's force must be deployed in the start of a battle, board a truck, battle wagon, or looted vehicle with a transport capacity. During a game, any mob of Speed Freaks is allowed to mount up and onto any transport vehicle they can fit on board. So this role is basically covered in 5th edition, because uh, in the previous edition you couldn't. Uh, mobbing up doesn't apply anymore, um, so I'll skip that part. So fast response. Uh, to represent, let's see, speed freak vehicles are usually at the forefront of battle, so they are caught on the defense of the reserves, respond very quickly. To represent this, speed freaks are allowed to start rolling for the reserves earlier in scenarios which use the reserve scenario special rules. Start rolling for speed freaks reserves on the first turn of the game instead of the second turn. So that's a really cool rule. Uh, let's see. And a couple other vehicle, a couple other notes that uh, all vehicles in the Cult of Speed Army must carry grout riggers. Um, and the other things have already been covered by the Orc Codex. So, yeah, those are pretty much the only three things that you have to worry about when uh, thinking about a Speed Freaks army. Uh, the Speed Freaks uh, available units are quite different, and things have been moved around quite a bit. Uh, in the Speed Freaks army list, your HQs are your war boss, one war boss, one big mech, and knob bikers are your HQ slots. Uh, for the this cult, cult of Speed had their own knob bikers entry, but of course we can just use the knob bikers out of the codex. Same with the mech and war boss. Um, war boss or big mech must, mech must be chosen to lead. The cult of Speed, a war boss, and or big mech may be upgraded to have a bodyguard. Which, okay, that doesn't apply anymore. And they must be transported or on a bike. Uh, the elites are your storm boys, ard boys, and the no longer existent scar boys. We can just skip those. So you have storm boys, our elites, as our ard boys. Um, for troops, uh, this is where the fun part really begins. Is that the troops choices for your speed freaks is is a lot different. Uh, you have a war bike squadron is by default a troops choice. Uh, war buggies and war tracks are your troops choices. Truck boys, which we'll just take as regular boys in a truck. But here are the two big ones. Tank busters, up to one unit, and up to one unit of burner boys, both of which are troop choices and must be mounted in a truck. So I'm going to take full advantage of that. Uh, for fast tag, you have def copter squadron or war bike outriders. Uh, what war bike art riders are are basically uh, 10 points more, and they're war bikes that have the scout rule. And that's about it. That's about the only difference. And for heavy support, you have battle wagons, looted vehicles, or looted wagons in this case, in the, with the new codex, and the gun truck. The gun truck is an entry, probably the only unit I would actually use. And this would be a good way to use your uh, drop tanks if you've built some of those. Gun truck is a uh, heavy support choice, available in squadrons from 1 to 3. They're open topped, so they're not tanks, but they're open topped. And they're 10 all around with a base cost of 30 points. And then you can give them big guns with a zap, a cannon, or a lava. So basically, um, they take a big guns unit and put them on in a vehicle. And that's what a gun truck is, which is really kind of cool. It would be fun for some convergence. Obviously, this isn't going to be a tournament army. This is strictly for fun. So that's pretty much um, all the changes we had to make to convert the new codex to a Speed Freaks list. And I've been trying to get to play this in a fun game, but I've not yet, as, as of yet had the chance. Uh, but this is the 1500 point list that I came up with. So obviously for HQs, I have a big mech with custom force field, cyborg body, and burna, which is my usual 
if, uh, met configuration. Warboss on a war bike with cyborg and stick bombs. Let's see, attack squig and power claw, of course, and a boss bowl. Just to be on the safe side. For my troop choices, I have two trucks with slugger boys in them, with knob with power claw and boss bowl, of course. And the trucks have the red paint, have the, 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 the upgrades, the grot riggers, and reinforced rams. My next troop choice is Tank Busters. The full unit of 12 Tank Busters. The knob has a boss pole, no power claw, just a boss pole, and three bomb squigs. And of course the truck has a boarding plank in this case, and a reinforced ram and grot riggers. My next troop choice is the fourth truck, which is Burna Boys. Ten Burna Boys in there, joined by the Big Mech, which also has a Burna. And the same upgrades, a reinforced ram and grot riggers. Uh, one more troops choice, and that's a big unit of 10 bikes right in the middle, uh, led by a knob with a power claw, which will join the war boss. So yeah, that's that's a pretty um, expensive unit, pretty big unit on the table. Uh, then I've got one heavy support choice, which is a looted wagon with boom gun, ard case, and grot riggers. And then one heavy fast attack choice was a def copter with buzzsaw and twin link rockets. And that's 1,500 points. And actually, you could play this list in a, with just a normal codex. The only difference would be the Tank Busters and Burnham Boys would be Elites, and the War Bikers would be Fast Attack instead of Troops. So really, that's the only difference, is it just kind of plays with the Force Orcs chart a little bit. And yeah, so that's an interesting way to play Orcs a little differently, is just to give these Speed Freaks a chance. and. You know, you can play Speed Freaks equally well with just normal codex units, as I said, just and because all it's really doing is changing around the Force Org chart. So, yeah. I really want to play this list. I really want to play it uh, in a fun game. So hopefully sometime I can do that, since I'm not playing competitive at the League anymore for the rest of the year because of the holidays. So let me know what you think. Um, maybe grab yourself a uh, grab yourself a copy of Codex Armageddon and read through it, and uh, have some Speed Freak games the old-fashioned way. Thanks for watching.